Back in 2022, I reviewed this Molecule Air Mini. And at the time, I had to agree with Consumer Reports and Wirecutter in saying that this device didn't live up to the hype. Now, since then, Molecule has been forced to pay out $2.7 million in a class action lawsuit. They've paid a fine of $190,000 to the Californian Air Resource Board, and they were forced to retract many of their advertising claims. So why am I reviewing this Molecule Air Mini Plus? Well, our mission at House Fresh is not just to review all and the best air purifiers, it's also to uncover air purifiers that don't live up to the hype. And when I went on to Google to search for reviews for this new Molecule Air Mini Plus, all of the reviews were saying how awesome this device was. If you don't want to watch my full review, here are the two things I like about this device and the five things I don't. So the first thing I like is I still think it's a good looking device and it has this additional vegan leather handle, which is a little nicer than the woolen one. It has a particle sensor in the device, whereas the old one didn't. So you get a light that shows you how bad the air quality is and auto mode that comes with it. Now what I don't like, Similar to the older model, it still has very poor value when it comes to air cleaning performance for the price they're asking for. It was also super loud at its highest fan speed, so loud I couldn't bear to be near it. It also has some of the highest filter costs on the market, which means its long-term running costs are much higher than many of the other devices we tested. There's the whole issue of the class action lawsuit and the bankruptcy, which doesn't sit well with me. And finally, when we tested this device running at a lower fan speed at a bearable level of noise, it had very poor air cleaning performance. As with all the air purifiers we review here at House Fresh, we paid for the Molecule Air Mini Plus with our own money. We paid £349 from amazon.co.uk. The first thing I like to do with any of my air purifier reviews is see, is there a KDAR test that exists? Now, Molecule do not send their device to the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, and they don't have an independent KDAR study report on their website. But they do talk about KDAR and the reasons why they don't. So they have a blog post from 2019 where the founder highlights many of the issues with KDAR and suggests that their Pico technology, because it destroys particles, it's an unfair to use the KDAR system. And in a post from 2021, they argued that the KDAR test needs to include more than just particles. Whilst it is true that KDAR is not perfect, it was strange that they don't have any sort of study or lab report about how well this device can remove particles from the room. However, in their marketing materials, they do mention that this device, the Molecular Air Mini Plus and the Molecular Air Mini can be used in rooms up to 250 square feet, but they don't say how many air changes. So I decided to reach out to Molecular to ask them. They did get back to me and they said, due to the Pico technology, they say that it's two air changes per hour. So we can use the KDAR calculator on the House Fresh website, input 250 square feet and two air changes. We can estimate and assume that the ceiling height is eight and a half feet. And that gives us an estimated KDAR of 70 CFM. And based on this, we are expecting it to remove all PM1 pollutants in our test room in between 50 and 60 minutes. But we will see this when we get to the performance test. So let's look at the design of this device. When I first reviewed this back in 2022, one of the big standout features was the design. It's a good looking device. So the older version used this woolen handle, the new version has this vegan leather handle, but overall you can see the quality of it. It has a really nice feel to the overall plastic, it's a shiny bit on the top, and it's a really good size compared to many of the air purifiers on the market that are usually much larger, and you could argue uglier, this definitely stands out. Even just unboxing the device, it comes in a really good looking box. Everything feels premium, there's marketing materials, everything aligns with the brand. It definitely feels like you're getting a product that is in the more premium range than your average air purifier. And it's clear that Molecule, when producing this device, really thought about design from day one. And I imagine this really stood out to consumers. Let's jump into the most important part of the review, the performance test. And we tested the Molecule Air Mini Plus in the same 728 cubic feet test room where we've tested over 70 different air purifiers since 2020. Because we test all of our air purifiers in the same room doing the same job, we can quickly compare performance. So, the Molecule Air Mini Plus managed to clean our test room in 53 minutes of all PM1 pollutants, which was exactly the same as the older Molecule Air Mini. We can also compare these results with other devices that performed the same. 
As you can see in the table, the only other device that came close to having a similar performance to price ratio as the Molecule Air Mini Plus was the device from Dyson. But it's worth noting that this Dyson unit is a combo unit, so it also has a fan function. But all the other devices that performed similar to this, they were much cheaper than the Molecule Air Mini Plus. It's worth noting that many of those devices in the previous table were quite old, so we also wanted to compare performance to other units that we've tested at a similar price point. Looking at these results, it's clear that you can get much better value performance from any other brand on the air purifier market. As part of this review, I spent a lot of time looking at reviews for this device on places like USA Today and Pop Sugar. And one of the big things they talk about is this unique Pico technology. So unlike HEPA, Pico works in that it actually destroys the particles and doesn't just capture them. Now, it's worth noting that the Molecule Air Mini and their other uh, devices also use HEPA and activated charcoal. The Pico is just an additional element on top. So I decided to do a little bit of research about the Pico technology and it's short for photoelectrical chemical oxidization and has been used in air cleaning technology for many years. However, not all people agree with its effectiveness. IQ Air has a really interesting post about this. And they say that Pico technology needs time to interact with the air. So it means that in a device like an air purifier, you can't use large amounts of airflow because the air will just pass by without interacting with the Pico technology. In the e example, they said you needed seven Pico powered devices to match up to one of their IQ Air Health Pro Plus. Pico is touted on the Molecule website as being very effective at removing VOCs. And I found a study from 2021 which compared devices that used photoelectrical chemical oxidization and what they found that they were actually much less effective at removing VOCs like toluene and limonene when compared with other technologies like activated carbon. Like UVC, Pico can destroy pollutants in lab scenarios but it doesn't seem well suited to consumer devices like these. The Molecule Air Mini, the older version, was one of the loudest we've tested, hitting 68.2 decibels. So I was interested to see, does this device perform quieter? And the results were not great. It managed to hit 67.4 decibels. So we made sure to look at how much sound was generated at the different fan speeds. From the 70 devices we've tested, these two devices are the second loudest devices we've seen, only being beaten by the Aloe Air HEPA 550, which is a device really designed for use in industrial or workshops, and I would expect that most people would use in uh, ear protection when they're using it. Now there's a great tool at Clean Air Stars, and it recommends air purifiers, but one of the other things that it does is gives sound levels for different situations. And they have a 45 decibel limit for loud classrooms. And I think that's a great limit to have for use in the home. So I wanted to test this device running at speed three to see how well it cleaned our test room. And it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in 113 minutes, which was exactly the same as what we saw with the Lavoie Core Mini. Now bear in mind, this is a device that has a KDAR of 40 CFM and is less than $50. It's clear when you adjust for sound, the Molecule Air Mini Plus air cleaning performance is much less than any of the air purifiers that we have tested. Another thing to look for is the amount of energy that's used. Well, like all the reviews that we do here at HouseFresh, we tracked how much energy was used at each fan speed for the Molecule Air Mini Plus. At its highest fan speed, this device pulls 39.7 watts, which will add an additional $41.73 to your energy per year we can compare this to other devices we've tested. Looking at the table we've just seen, we can see that the energy usage of this device is very similar to other devices we've tested, but you get much less air cleaning performance per watt. Now, Molecule recommends replacing the filters on this device every six months, and the OEM filters are $99. So you will need to buy two filters per year, which brings a total filter replacement cost per year of $199.98. But you can choose the subscription, so that means they will automatically send filters, and that will bring that yearly running cost down to $159.98. Now the filter costs are much higher than what we've seen with any of the other air purifiers we've tested. You can see the table now. So when we account for filter costs and energy costs, this has some of the highest running costs of devices we've looked at. 
So with this Molecule Air Mini Plus, with the energy and filter cost, you're looking at yearly costs of $241.71 if you don't get the filters as a subscription. So what do I think about the Molecule Air Mini Plus? Well, when I reviewed the older version back in 2022, I said it was the worst air purifier I have tested. And the new device is as loud as the older version, uses as much energy as the older version, and its air cleaning performance was exactly the same as this device. Now, if I was more conspiracy minded, I might think that Molecule just brought out a new model that was very similar with a different name to push all the negative reviews of the older model away. But I'm sure that can't be the case. Now, I did reach out to Molecule to ask them what were the difference between this device and they cleared it up to me. Basically, it is the same device, but this one has a sensor with a little screen that changes color depending on the air quality, and it has a vegan leather handle compared to the woolen handle. Now, for the RRP of this device, which is $349.99, but it is often sold for, for less, around $249 when I did this review, it really is, for me, impossible to recommend this device to anyone which is mad to see how many glowing reviews that are on the internet for this device. I wanna give you some examples. So USA Today reviewed this device and they said, I quote, it can eliminate COVID-19, giving you a better peace of mind during outbreaks. Pop Sugar also had this to say, the purifier is running 24 seven and even still I'm able to work, have Zoom meetings and watch TV without any distraction or noise interruption from the product. Now my concern is that they were maybe didn't switch the device on because this device is super loud. So I don't get where this comes from. To be clear, I reached out to both the authors of the USA Today review and Pop Sugar to get more detail on it, but I haven't received a reply. If I do, I will certainly update you. But I really need to make it clear to my audience. This device, the Molecule Air Mini Plus, is not worth the hype. It's not a good air purifier and I can't recommend in good conscience anyone to buy a device like an air purifier from a brand that is in chapter 11 bankruptcy. If this brand goes into chapter four bankruptcy, like we saw with Okaisu this year, the warranty will be worthless. You may not be able to get filters in future and even the smart function may not work. Anyway, that's my take on it. If you've got the Molecule Air Mini Plus and you think it's great, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Photoelectrical. Pico is short for photoelectrical. <laughs> so Pico is short for photoelectrical.